I didn't recognize you there for a moment. Of course you didn't, because it's just a coincidence that we see each other at Kelly's two nights in a row. Okay, what are you accusing me of now? <laughs> you want a list, Lisa? Or do you want to talk about the fact that you're following me? Okay. Paranoia is striking again. Robin and I were here for two seconds last night, and all of a sudden you and Johnny come strolling in. Now again tonight, I walk up to the door and guess who's right there. Okay. You know, I'm sorry to disappoint, but you haven't even crossed my mind. I'm here to see Johnny. Johnny? Robin. What's up? Uh, I just wanted to, I don't know, clear the air. We all got a little heated last night. Yeah. Well, like I've said before, my issues are not with you, they're with Patrick. Patrick has handled this Lisa situation as well as anyone could. Patrick mistreated Lisa and never took responsibility for his actions. Actually, he okay, did. Okay, you know what? I don't want to get into this again. You gave Patrick a free pass, probably to preserve your marriage, and that's your call. I'm just asking maybe you guys can back off. You're truly sympathetic to her, aren't you? I like Lisa. I think she's smart, and hell, she's strong enough to pull herself out of that emotional black hole. Well, we'll see if she's capable of doing that. As opposed to you and Patrick breaking into my apartment. Look, Robin, we've all crossed lines Are the two here. of you dating What now? does that matter? I'm not making any judgments. I genuinely want to know if she's moved on from Patrick. Hi. Hey. Ooh, what's your dinner? I'm so excited. Uh, I'm grab starving. Some Chinese. Sorry oh, about Thank Ellie's. you. It's okay. Any particular reason you canceled when I was less than two blocks away? Just figured I'd rather be at home with you instead. It's okay. I'm with Stephanie. I have candles and some music. Yeah, sounds nice. Looks great. Where's uh, where's Emma? She's sleeping. Um, so we have the whole house to ourselves. Wow. It's been a while since we've had a date night. I know. Tell me about it. Well, at least we have the rest of our lives to make up for all those dates. Counting on it. So what's the real reason you canceled at Kelly's? I saw Lisa there. She's up to something. Kelly's and Lisa was right behind me. I'm sure looking around the corner. Of course she denied everything. I cannot believe I'm saying this about a woman that I hate so much, but do you think there's any chance she's laying off a little bit? <laughs> Not a chance. She's played normal before. Crazy follows right out. I'm not gonna let her do anything to you again. I like when you get all worked up like that and you need to protect me. Mm. I swear to God, if Lisa tries one more thing, I'm gonna bury her myself. Wow. Now I almost hope she does try something. Robin, don't say that. Yeah. I know, you're right. Luckily, she's, you know, moved on and transferred her obsession to Johnny. Somebody that crazy doesn't get better on their own. I'm just worried that she's gonna try something else because she's gotten away with everything. Okay, okay, okay. But here we are, we're in our home, our daughter is sleeping. We have a great meal in front of us, so why is it that the only thing we can do to talk about is Lisa? I'm sorry, I'm being an idiot. Do not insult my husband. Your husband needs to get his priorities straight. Can I make a suggestion? Absolutely. Tonight is, well, it's our date, right? So it should be about us. It should be about what we want to do and how we feel. So, how was your day, dear? <laughs> it's better already. Good. I was thinking, not that we would recreate an entire Italian garden like Sonny and Brenda. Thank God. But I was thinking we could do some brickwork and redo the backyard. Yeah. Some plants. Pay somebody to landscape the backyard. Great idea. Yeah. Do some of the work ourselves. Enjoy it together. I think we can find something better to do than that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like go upstairs and make this a real date? We could start with that. <laughs> Wait. First, we must open our fortune cookie. <laughs> I always eat mine first. What does it say? You will have love forever in bed. Wow. That is so accurate. It's like kind of spooky. I hope so. <clears throat> What's yours say, smart butt? It says, you will soon receive a gift in bed. <laughs> 
That's very true. On the way home from work, I reserved two tickets to Tessie and the Kill. You did? Yes, I did. I love them. I didn't even know they were touring. One show at the Roadhouse, Saturday night. Yeah? Well, I think Stephanie isn't available that night. Maybe they can do a special set for three-year-olds and we can bring Emma along. we can get Christina to watch Emma. Oh, yes, that's right. I think that's a better plan. Yeah.